All right. I just realized that I never made a video for dominant species of the ball pythons. So we're going to do one real quick on that. And just to touch up, we're going to review um, homozygous, which is where two genes match up to form the trait and show it. And then heterozygous is where it carries one of the genes that, so it carries the trait but doesn't show it. And so this example, we're going to use a spider and a super spider. Super sub spider will be a homozygous, and spider will just be heterozygous because you can't get, technically can't get, or you really can't get uh, any dominant species that are head for the dominance because it's dominant, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So t say you have a head times a normal, so heterozygous just being a spider times a normal. You'll have two spiders and two normals, so 50% of the clutch will be or should be spiders. All right, say you have heterozygous times heterozygous, so spiders times a spider. You should get 50% spiders, 25% uh, super spider. It's like a really clean one. And then 25% should be normal. All right, and then uh, say you do homozygous times normal, so a super spider times a spider, or times a normal. You should get all spiders, so just like if you bred a pastel or super pastel times a normal, it should basically get around the same thing. Um, and say you did homozygous times heterozygous, so you did your super or super spider times your just your spider. You should get two spiders, so 50% should be just normal spiders, and 50% should be the super spiders or radio spiders if I didn't set up. Um, Alright, then you have your homozygous times your homozygous. You do a super spider times a super spider. So a really clean spider is a really clean spider. You should get all really clean spiders. And that's kind of how you, uh, some of these really like good breeders, they'll have just like these amazing lines of certain animals like uh, spiders and pinstripes just where it's completely clean, really straight. That's basically what they do. They take these supers for uh, dominance and they keep bringing them together and they keep getting just these perfect specimens. So, uh, yeah, that's basically how it is, and if you see me wearing this, I just got back from snowboarding. So I'm really tired and wanted to add this video up real quick, because I have one for recessive and co-dominant, so I thought I'd add this up. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I can probably answer them for ball pythons, uh, most other snakes, uh, leopard geckos, I can figure it out. So, um, yeah, and keep watching my videos. I'm starting to do quite a bit more. I'm going to get a camera, a video camera, steal someone's, and I mean like my sister's or my girlfriend's or something like that. So let me know if you have any questions, subscribe, it's always nice. I'll keep shooting vi new videos. Uh, my girlfriend's actually supposed to get me a new snake for Valentine's Day. Um, either that or a Pac-Man frog, I haven't decided yet, but I'll probably go with a snake. And we're kind of deciding, saying, well actually... I'm just making a video for you guys, and we'll describe it to you guys and how we pick it out. Uh, Alright, thanks guys, subscribe. Thanks for your help. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.